Welcome to Review Time with Tim. Today, I'm going to be testing out the Matador Original Beef Stick. Pretty skinny, but super long. As always, subscribe to my channel, smash the likes, notifications, comments below, and let's get into today's Matador Original Beef Stick Review. <laughs> Today I'm reviewing the Matador original uh, meat stick here. It was about a dollar fifty at the local store. Uh, it says right here dollar uh, forty nine, but then I had to do you know tax as well and various other things. So you know came up just a little over a dollar fifty something, maybe dollar sixty something. I don't know. Uh, anyway, I've never had this brand. There's really nothing too special about the way the packaging looks. It didn't even catch my eye. I was just looking at all of it, and I just saw the name, and I said, hey, I've never had this before. This will make a good review video. Uh, so the packaging, we're just going to go with a straight two on the packaging today. Just a plain old two on the packaging. So this meat stick is coming in at 150 calories for consumption of the whole entire meat stick. It's definitely, it reminds me of a, those small pack Slim Jims, but then just extended. So it's not a whole lot to this. Uh, it does say this, interesting here, that it's distributed by Frito-Lay. So the makers of those Frito chips and corn chips and all those other things, they are distributing this. Hmm. So that's uh, something to, uh, to think about. All right, let's get a little sniff test today and see what we're coming in here on the smell. If I can get this sucker open. All right, here we go. Oh my God, <laughs> this smells just like a Slim Jim. It's got that same Slim Jim spice smell. Yeah, this is coming in uh, just like a Slim Jim. Kind of greasy. Let's see if I can. I don't know if I can pick that shine up there, but my finger is now greasy. Uh, let's give it a little. A little bit on the mushy side. Oh, there's some juice there. Got some meat juice. Well, a little smoky smell. Smells like Slim Jim almost. Kind of very familiar. Smells kind of over-processed. Uh, so we're, we're going to go with a, a 4.5 today on the smell. Not awful, but not quite meeting the uh, the standard there. So 4.5 on the smell. Alright, next up we're going to give it an old taste test. bit of a kick to it <clears throat> slight kick has that same greasy when you bite into it and you're chewing it got that processed grease you can taste it you can feel it in your mouth all right so you know this this original matador it's going to give you some indigestion for sure just like those Slim Jims do if you eat those. Definitely highly, highly processed. You got that same Slim Jim smell. And to really be honest with you, it has uh, the same Slim Jim taste. It's almost very identical to a Slim Jim. And actually, a lot of manufacturers manufacture the same things. They just change the label. Maybe they change one or two ingredients or the amount of ingredients in something, and then they just repackage it. So from what I've uh, from what I've gathered and heard that some companies do that. Um, so you know you might be buying an expensive cheese, and then your local grocery store 
might buy from that same cheese manufacturer 900 pounds of the same block cheddar cheese. They just change up a few ingredients or maybe not even sometimes and they just repackage it and they sell it for a dollar cheaper. Uh, this is, like I said, this is this is coming in just like a Slim Jim, tasting and smelling. Uh, and it was only $1.50. Can't find a Slim Jim for $1.50. They're at least $2 plus range. Uh, yeah. Definitely going to give you indigestion. I can feel it. As you chew it, all that greasy flavorness, processed meat yumminess, really coming through. I'll probably pay for this later. Uh, Taste-wise, we're going to hit it with a six. It's familiar taste for a beef stick. Something that you get from the gas station, Dollar General, Dollar Tree, whatever, even your grocery store. All right, let's tally it all up today and let's get our overall total. All right, so uh, Matador Original, you got to check this out. So I took another bite and I don't know, let's see how it will look at the the meat processed meat juice that's coming from that that's what you that like fat juice whatever from the processed goodness that's that's what's uh that's what's squishing in the mouth there <laughs> okay uh so for today's overall score for the matador original Okay, we're coming in at 12.5 out of 30 total possible points. Eh, nothing to brag about. For the price, not bad. For the taste, it's familiar. It's going to give you the burps, probably. Some kind of indigestion. You might have to hit that Pepto-Bismol afterwards or something like that. But, uh, yeah, Road Snacks, Matador. Anyway... As always, subscribe to my channel, smash the likes, notification, comments, all that good jazz, and I will check you all later.